growing up, my dad had two gardens, so, you know, I was always into agriculture in a sense. So that, that put me in the mindset that I didn't want to marry a farmer, which is never say never. So I married into the farming life. Well, mainly my background is health care, so I managed a medical practice for over 15 years. It got to a point to where being a mother, coming home from work, you know, preparing the meal, getting the baths, getting everybody in bed, I was down to four hours sleep every night. And I did that for about two years. And I, we knew that I had to make a, a change. I've, I've been on the farm full time for about five years now. And still, I teach part time. I teach medical billing and coding. You know, it's, it's a great life. It's a great way of life to raise children on a farm. In 2000, we started growing strawberries and did the you pick, we pick. That was an opportunity to invite preschools and elementary schools to your farm to pick, to actually pick a product that uh, they had never seen before as far as growing on a vine. In regards to the fall agritourism activities with the corn maize and pumpkin patch, John and I came up with the idea to do a corn maze. We started growing pumpkins in 2000, and then in 2002, we uh, planted the first corn maze here in Lee County. And we visited uh, one corn maze in a different area of the state before we decided to do it. Education's, you know, it's, it's key to any time you invite the public to your farm. You can't miss that opportunity to engage them or put something in front of them for you for them to read that's going to educate them on whether it's how strawberries are grown or how corn is grown or pumpkins or or the cycle of you know a plant life you have to you have to seize that moment so to speak each farm is unique mm -hmm. there's no cookie cutter mold for any man or woman that's farming so they have to um, decide you know what do they have on their farm that is their greatest assets what can they spend from that? And uh, for me, it's location, my marketing skills, and uh, just staying on top of who your customers are. Agriculture and agribusiness is, is huge for this community. I mean, agriculture right now is over an $84 billion business for North Carolina. There's just so much opportunity there for men and women in agriculture depending on the commodity that they, they choose to go into. But before tourism, you have agriculture. So the ag agri needs to stay in agritourism. Most times, the general public only sees the crops that are grown. But there's an enormous amount of planning and preparation that goes in to planting crops. And the corn maize and pumpkin patch is something I work on year round. There's no faking it in agriculture. Uh, you're going to have really good years and really bad years and mediocre years. Whether you make a huge income or not, you've got to enjoy what you do. I tell my all, all my children, figure out what you like to do. And then find a way to get somebody to pay you for doing it. And you'll never work a day in your life. Just your heart has to be in it and then everything else will fall into place.